guys. It's your best friend. Brianna. Brutal. If you don't know me. <laughs> anyway, so as you may know, if you hear crunching, that's my dog munching on her bone. She's really she gets really into her bones. Um anyway, so as you know today I went to Senate and I danced. I was with Sam and we had our fun. Got into the car and I realized that something was wrong. We tried to start the car and it wouldn't start. It wouldn't start. The fuel pump is broken. I've had the water go out. I've had the belt go out on it. Then I had the oil and now this fuel pump. <laughs> you waste more money on a car than you do a prostitute. When you buy a car, make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. And of course, yes, I'm upset if many of you can't tell. For towing, it was $690. $690 for towing. From Houston, okay, toward like Willowbrook Mall area. Now the thing that bothers me the most about this is the area that I was in being broke down and having to wait 45 minutes for AAA to come out. Or not AAA, sorry. Ray told me that AAA does this shit for free. But I had to wait for my company, the towing company that I called, to come out to pick it up and bring it to the shop. Hundred and ninety fucking dollars. Now I was sitting in the car thinking about this, and I was watching homeless people, like walking down the streets with their children with suitcases. And they're homeless. They are homeless. Yeah. In the thirty-four degree weather. Okay, I'm cold. These people are even colder. And they're sitting with their children and their bags, nowhere to go. And I'm thinking, what the, you know, why? What what the hell? I felt bad for those people because it's 34 degrees and it's wind. And it's so cold out. It's chippy. Then I thought about some other stuff I found out recently. Then there's people that I found out that food and gas prices are rising. Then you have, um, you know... People that go and go to these sales, the sales for like HD TVs and, and electronics and clothes, designer clothes, that go and buy this expensive stuff more than they can pay for bills. And I'm sitting here that they're wasting their hard earned money for something that isn't even necessary. I'm sorry if she's loud, I can't help her. But, um, where the fuck is our money going to? Where is it all going? This whole 30 people limit that these companies can't pay people to work? I got laid off twice. Not because I wasn't a bad worker, but simply because they can't pay the people on payroll the hours because they have too many people on their team. What? So, at the beginning of how I was earning all my money, I had $8,000. I had to spend to get this car fixed. Plus paying my family back for helping me out from Georgia. $8,000. Went down to $2,000. Less than a few months. That puts me at a major, minor setback. Why? Because I had to get two jobs. I'm spending more for gas and on a car than I am earning money at a job. Where the fuck is this world come to? And then I found out that a family friend has a few problems with um, issue, issues, if you must. And with what's going on, I was in a bad area, okay? These people would walk by my car knowing that I'm broke down. And we had a, you know, a stranger come up to us and stuff. And it's not safe in that area. I was in Bel Air, near Bel Air. I was near, um, the freaking Galleria Mall, you know? And I was toward, 
past Gallery Mall, you know, really just in town, and not the greatest areas to stop at. There were some really not some rough, there were some rough people in that area, and I'm not allowed to have some kind of weapon on me. They could just come by, grab my stuff, and walk away. Or then come by, kill me, and walk away, and not get any, and not, you know, get punished for it. And if punished, they get a few months in jail, walk out a free man. What the fuck has this world come to? You don't get paid enough to do enough to be enough, and when you're not enough, they point fingers at you because you can't pay for the things that they don't give enough for. Then they want to take away our amendments, and I'm thinking, and I'm just sitting here thinking in this car. It's not that it relates to me, but I'm thinking like. This is some bullshit that I can't pay for my stuff. I can, but I'm wasting it at such a horrible price. And I'm stuck in an area that I can't even defend myself in. And family, friends are having issues and stuff. And then these people are wanting to say they want to take gun control and weapons and all this stuff away. Uh-uh, no. Why is everyone intellectually lazy? I want to do something about it, and by this video I'm doing something about this, saying all this bullshit. Because nobody's doing anything. You know, nobody's doing anything. Somebody's doing something, but it's not enough to do anything. I can't earn my house on a good salary, minimum wage, let alone two jobs. I know Many of you are probably thinking, we'll get a third one. Oh, we'll try something else. And I have tried everything. I've tried everything. I work my ass off. And a lot of people don't see me as somebody who works my ass off, but I really do. I really do. And when I'm spending more money on something that's supposed to get me somewhere and it doesn't get me anywhere at all. Are you kidding? This is reality. And reality sucks.